of January and here are your top stories. We can all breathe a little easier today. Fox, who initially owned some rights to make a Watchmen movie, has dismissed their lawsuit against Warner Brothers. So now Warner Brothers can finally release the film that they've already produced. With the two studios in dispute, there was some worry that Watchmen would never see a release date. But now Fox will get up to 8.5% of the gross receipts from the movie, as well as any future sequels. Fox will also recoup the money they spent developing their version along with legal fees. We're glad the fight is over and can't wait for March 6 of this year when Watchmen hits theaters. Now it looks like the struggling economy has slain its first retail giant. Tomorrow Circuit City will begin liquidating all of its remaining 567 locations. In November, the electronics retailer closed 155 of their stores and entered Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Circuit City has a March 31st deadline to sell off their entire inventory before they close their doors forever. There's a lot of people back in the job market. The chain employs 34,000 people. It's very unfortunate. Now, YouTube is the number one place on the internet where people turn to for videos, and now you can enjoy all those nut shots on a bigger screen. YouTube is teaming up with Sony and Nintendo to bring users YouTube for TV, and you can access it using the browser on your PS3 or your Wii. The television version of YouTube is simplified from the standard web version. It features autoplay and large text navigating. The site is streamlined to optimize the experience on your TV. Just go to youtube.com slash TV on your PS3 or Wii to see it. Nowadays, it seems like most of the world walks around with earbuds plugged in their ears. And while most doctors warn about the dangers of listening to music at high levels, it turns out the buds offer another threat, ear infections. Researchers discovered that bacteria loves to live and multiply on the ear pieces. And if you share your buds with another person, your chance of getting an ear infection increases by 92%. That's a lot. And finally, Keanu Reeves will be heading up the cast of the live-action big-screen version of the anime cult classic Cowboy Bebop. Reeves will play lead character Spike Spiegel, the bounty hunter who pilots the spaceship Bebop in the year 2071. The original anime first aired on Tokyo TV in the late 1990s, and as you can tell by the title, the show drew its inspiration from American music. In fact, many of the episode titles were named after songs like Sympathy for the Devil and My Funny Valentine. The project is slated for release sometime in 2011. Well, that's it for today, but don't worry, the feed doesn't stop here. Get all the news you need to know anytime at G4TV.com. Have a great weekend, guys. I'm Leila Cayley, and you've just been fed. 